We're starting up. Dominic is going to face another Terry. It's Dominic versus Alejandro. And we are underway. Week five of play versus. Dominic as Kazuya. Alejandro as Terry. And he's already got Terry at high percentage. Some good DI from Dominic will keep him alive. Oh, Dominic almost taking the start from that stun into the uppie. And the power dunk will take the first stock for Alejandro. And Alejandro getting some extra credit here with the percentage. And Kazuya will take that stock as the DI was a little bit questionable. A little bit too vertical. I do know the records of each team. I'll get that to you after this match. Thank you for asking. There's a reflect. I wonder if it's an input that Dominic has to do because that seems to be a well first time he's done it. And the neutral game there from that reflector really makes it up for Terry and he'll take that stock with the up B. And he's now taking the lead after losing that first stock. Good DI from Dominic to stay alive at 159% and I think this will do it no matter what. He tried to super all it through it with that uh, wannabe sure you can there. Oh, he's going for it again. There's a reflect. Might have been a mix up. Terry has to land and he just does a regular get up. And the up smash will take the game one. So we're staying with the same characters. Kazuya and Terry. On some decent percentage on each other. And Dominic has really telegraphed that he's going for that super armor through the power wave. Wonder if Alejandro's gonna pick up it. Oh man, that that power geyser nearly taking Dominic, but he air dodged in to avoid it. Both characters going off stage. Terry trying to catch Kazuya with the up But instead, Kazuya will get another stock with the up smash. That's the one that ended game one. Wave landing onto that top platform. Looks like it'll be pretty convenient for Kazuya. Another option to get off of ledge. Reflection. A little bit of an opening forcing Terry to have to find a way to land. Super arm is through. Almost caught him as he was coming back down. And that power geyser unfortunately was facing the other way. Here comes the Buster Wolf. And it goes straight to the corner. And Terry making the plays he needs to. You've got to use the goal meter to your advantage. And Alejandro has done that so far. A nice 30% combo. Kazuya you landing with the back here. And Dominic has really struggled to find his footing in this stock. Oh man, he went for it all with that stun. He does live to fight another day though. Gets off of ledge. Gets the perfect shield. Oh man. <laughs> when it looks close up like that, you think it's going to be a, a kill anyway. Even though Terry has a lot of percentage, there's a big percentage difference here. And the power dunk, will the DI be good enough? Yes it is! He's got to get back to ledge. Oh man, that down smash. Kazuya, just playing patient, gets the start, he's going to land into the up air! And we've got... A rubber match game three coming up. Okay. Hey man, viewers are viewers. Game three, same players, or same characters, same stage. Or, well, same stage as game one. Dominic not able to punish him as he was trying to get back to stage. What a punish there! The stun into the uppercut. And Dominic playing smart, not rushing it as he does have stock lead. Oh, gets the choke slam. This will be brutal percentage. He's already got Terry at 83. That's kill percentage for Kazuya. And all of a sudden it's 3 1. After two very tightly contested games, I went to last stock. Oh, the 
Tom Smash. A clever way to finish out that last stock rather than going off stage as the leg reaches off ledge. Dominic missing of his recovery. Almost had like a hacks ledge jump there. Oh, the stroke slam, I think it'll do it! Yes, it does! And the stars take the team lead 2 1. Still plenty of matches to go. Six more games, six more points on the board. Let's see what the rest of these two teams have to offer. Is Terry. Let's see who's representing Royal Palm over there as Roy. It's a char char character I'm very passionate about. That's Evan over there representing Royal Palm and all the Roy boys, the young lions out there. Opening with that Nair, that's a crucial part of his character. And the power dunk is a crucial part of Terry's character. Almost clean out that stock. Roy will just land neutral. Wow, he's super armored through. <laughs> the bus, uh, the, that uh, knuckle. I almost said Buster Wolf, that's the go version of that move. There it is. Power Geyser! What proper spacing. Unreachable for Roy. Oh, the rising tackle. What's too far below ledge? And this Roy. Oh, that was a chance for David. As Roy was stuck jabbing the other way. Oh! Nair into the raw F smash! And Evan has put himself in position here for a game one win to tie the score for his team. And that's just the dash attack. Burning knuckle. He's got him off stage. Oh, he was looking for the down here. You saw it come out. Would have been a dunk, an epic one to end game one. A good F tilt. Rising tackle straight to ledge. Buster Wolf comes out. Roy was in F smash, which multiplies the, the knockback. David just needs one opening as he's quite clinical with his inputs. Power Geyser goes the other way just as I jinx it, saying his inputs are clinical. And that will take it. Both characters looking for that kill shot. And it's now tied 2-2 in the team score. Back to Roy and Terry. Team scores at 2-2 now. 1-0 in this particular matchup in Roy's favor, who is uh, Evan from Royal Palm. David as Terry. Oh, David just goes right into that one. I thought we would have seen a jab back here, but we saw a jab charged F smash, and David goes right into it. Looks like he can make up for it though, as he's got a pretty good combo going here. Doesn't hold shield long enough. Does get caught by that dancing blade. Or blazing, but not. Nah, which one is the Roy one? Which one? Because whatever. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even gonna try. I think he held down. Power dunk going the other way. Oh, that's. That's questionable DI from Roy, but David will take it. Roy with a solid parry into the dancing blade. Rising tackle, David really trying to be cognizant of the ledge punishes from Roy. Roy mixing up, going off stage. Could have been costly as Buster Wolf comes out. He's in the air for the dunk. Oh, what a counter. Oh. An absolute chess match on display between these two players. Countered two times in that same situation. Oh, Dave makes it out alive as one down tilt could have chopped him away. The burning knuckle was coming out, but Roy smartly super armored through it. This should be a punish. And he dropped it for some reason. Or for no reason. David's gonna have to get back to stage. Change it up. Rising tackles through. Oh man, that could have been brutal. And the, oh, the burning knuckle. Oh, 
Oh, there was so much spaghetti there at the end. How did that F smash not land? Here we go. Got a costume switch. Don't know if that's some kind of some kind of indication for having an anime moment or if it was just a meaningless thing. Anyway, here we go. Hot zones are a little closer than uh, Final Destination, but uh, yeah, somebody go ahead and go ahead and fact check me on that in the chat. That's a change up from Roy. Oh, he had a chance to back here. I guess he didn't need to, but man, bigger ground, less off stage. Yep, thank you. So there's more ground to cover than Final Destination, uh, but the stage, the the blast zones are closer, which means kills can come earlier. Goes with the upward hit. Oh man, Tech rolled in. Not sure about that one. He's got a chance to grab here. And the rising tackle. Smart option from David as he was on the platform even closer to that high blast zone. Did get this crack shoot combo out though. Oh, David had a chance there as Roy was still in F smash charge. The turnaround mechanic really helped out there as Roy went backwards. He's got Roy off stage. Just gonna be a uh, normal. Oh, this will this will kill. Oh no, Roy falls out of it. <laughs> he goes with the high recovery. Oh man, a back air would have killed. Man, David's doing a really good job to mix up his landings. Oh, the Buster Wolf just barely missed Roy's back. The rising tackle goes through ledge. He tries to land with a counter and David hits him with the delayed dash attack. And David's got Evan down to his last stock. Oh man, we had the sour spot of that hit. Would have been a kill anyway. What the neutral beast coming out? What's going on? We have yet to see a, a jab back here, which is a tried and true combo for Roy, but he doesn't need it there. We're down to last stock. Last game between these two. Terry getting some power dunk combos, but Evan's done a good job of getting out of those with the ZI. He's got a lot of those uppies. Oh man. Oh, he was so close to getting that rising tackle kill. He got in the first one. And David survives. Still a chance. He's got go meter. Oh, the rising tackle's not high enough. And Evan will take this set. And it's now tied 3-3. So it's gonna be Sam as Ken. Against Daniel as Pelutena. That focus attack where he tries to land and tries to mix up his movement. Oh, and that's that's just a that's just a straight up SD there from from Sam. Pelotena really moving around a lot, making it hard for Sam to land any kind of hit to start a combo of his. Lots of shield pressure, but Pelotena shields shielded through all of it. You can't do it every time. Uh, if not, the players will just get a read on you. Here's, oh man, that was a combo for Sam that he usually hits to get a kill. Right there, he threw it that weak out tilt, but not that time. Great job on Palu Tennis second stock to get some kill power. There it is. A great first stock from Sam. And not so much there with the focus attack going the wrong way. He'll get back to ledge though safely. Oh, that's a smart counter. Sure you can. Oh, no. <laughs> smart offstage play from Palutena, taking advantage of Ken's limited options. Start his combo, Ken, that is. The momentum swung back and forth. Palutena definitely had the better of the first stock. Ken on the second stock. And this last stock has been much more even. 
Much more cagey. Oh man, that air dodge, I think, really caught Pilot Lieutenant off guard. And it's pushing him in good position here. Oh! Oh man. And uh, Sam has put FCS on match point to win the team, the team battle. Sam on uh, Palutena's roll in. <laughs> Landing sure you can. That was different. Wow, that air dodge was really dangerous, but I think it just surprised my lieutenant. Oh, down there! In the up tilt, in the shore, you can. Cross him up and everything. Oh, look at all that damage! Oh! Oh! What an unbelievable play from Sam! Wow! Oh, no. Oh, he was gonna do it to him. He was gonna throw the dunk out. And Palutena just trying to find her footing. All oh, the damage, what a read! Oh, what a read! Oh, oh this is it. <laughs> he just goes for the show again. This is it! This is a game win! Oh, that's the game win for Sam! Wow! So he's up 2 0. We're still gonna play this game, this game three. We still play all the games. Oh man. But that felt that felt like a finale. Wow. And if people in the chat talking about just a bunch of other stuff right now after that uh epic finish we just saw. <laughs> I didn't even realize I was still up there. My bad. Alright, we're back on we're back on PS2. A real run back. Hold on that. Platform. Dash attack. Not enough. Oh, that's a good read from Sam. Expecting that on stage recovery from Palutena. Finally cleans out the stock. Folks attack almost landed near full charge. Oh, <laughs> he canceled the dash attack into the short Yukin. Mixing it up. Fireball into fireball. Get some down tilt in the shore. You can. We're just used to it now. Not even getting hype about it. Good shield from Sam to get Paluten off stage. Not a problem for her to recover though against Ken. As uh, all these kills are having to come on stage. Oh, Sam looking for a dirty two frame with the fully chopped. When you see that, when you see that Hadouken as the bigger fireball, that's when you know he put in that proper input. Sam keeping this three stock hope alive for the swag points. Oh! Oh! Hits him into the corner. Palutena landing with that. Oh, whoa, 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 the movement was so crazy there. What? Oh, so many cancellations and mix-ups. How are you supposed to play against that? Unbelievable. Anyway, thank you for watching, folks. If you'd like to finish the stream uh, with the stripes, uh, I think it should auto-host here anyway. If not, you can just go to... FCS underscore media too. But uh, we have been the Stars and Stripes. Thank you for watching. We will see you tomorrow for Rocket League at, uh, I did this a little, a little early there, so forgive me. We will be back tomorrow for Rocket League at 4 p.m. Uh, and as usual, Smash is every Wednesday at 4 p.m. and Rocket League every Thursday at 4 p.m. So uh, we have been the Stars and Stripes. We will see you next time. God bless.